Hello YouTube, this is Andy and uh, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Uh, I'm going to uh, review some fragrances on this channel and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very contra approach to the fragrances that I select. Uh, I want fragrances should be accessible to all the people, you know. Uh, so there are fragrances out there which doesn't cost uh, a lot of money but they still smell amazing as good as some of uh, uh, high-end designer fragrances so my my focus will be to bring out those hidden gems for you fragrances which are available for pretty less but people haven't noticed them and the fragrances that I'll be reviewing will be the fragrances which are not reviewed by everybody. So today we are starting off by a fragrance by the name of Azaro Chrome Spot. It's a chrome uh, flanker and uh, it's an excellent fragrance. Now why this fragrance becomes important, I'll, I'll, I'll share a story with you. I used to love a fragrance and I'm sure you must all be aware about it. Uh, it's Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue. I bought this fragrance for my wife and I, I used to love this fragrance, absolutely love this fragrance. It has this wonderful citrusy smell, sunny citrusy smell which is so amazing, you know. But uh, because this is a Dolce & Gabbana fragrance, it costs a lot of money. And uh, when I wanted to pick up a similar fragrance for myself, I checked out Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, which uh, you all know is not as good as this lady's version. So I found uh, the next best alternative, which is Versace or Frash. Again, you all must be aware this smells very close to Dolce & Gabbana light blue the women's version but this is the men's version and uh, slightly more masculine it has that star anise uh, note which makes uh, it a little more masculine and I love this fragrance but and this is the 200 ml bottle and as you can see that I have used up quite a lot of the juice now Dolce & Gabbana light blue we're talking about uh, almost 50 60 Canadian dollars for a 100 ml bottle Versace a 100 ml bottle will cost you around about uh, 50 Canadian dollars at least at discounters so I stumbled across this fragrance and I was surprised how similar this fragrance smells to either of these Versace Eau Frache or uh, Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. It's, it's, it's a wonderful fragrance. Now let's uh, go over this fragrance uh, little by little. Now this is the packaging. It comes in a sea green box. And this is how it looks. It's an icy bottle. Uh, the juice has a slight uh, light blue turquoise tint to it. And this is the sprayer. And uh, I'll, I'll spray it so that you can see it's not a traditional sprayer. It's, it's it's slightly iffy sprayer with these bottles and as soon as you spray it you get that uh, amazing citrusy blast I'm wearing this today by the way now this fragrance was released in 2010 and the perfumer behind this fragrance is Michelle Almirac Michelle Almirac and top notes are lemon, bitter orange, mandarin, grapefruit, bergamot. Heart notes are ginger. And base notes are white musk, woody amber. 
and that's about it. But it smells amazing, you know. You'll be surprised how close this smells to Versace Eau Frache or Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. It smells similar, but you can get that same smell, good performance at a very less price. Uh, this 100ml bottle, it costs uh, 20 bucks at Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada. When I say 20 bucks, I'm talking about 20 Canadian dollars at uh, Shoppers Drug Mart. And it often comes there on their discount rack and you can pick it up. As you can see, I picked up one, I tried, I found out how similar it is to Light Blue and I picked up another bottle, you know, just to be safe. Now, let's uh, delve into some more details about this fragrance. As you can make out from the bottle color, it's a very cooling, refreshing smell, just like Ofrosh and uh, Light Blue. It has also certain similarities to Isi Meake Lodisi. If you've used that one, Lodisi, you'll also find that, uh, you know, uh, Lodisi has that excellent mixture between florals, citrus and spices. This one exactly has that same kind of DNA. And it's, it's, it's very long lasting. For a fragrance that costs 20 bucks, this, this has amazing performance. On my skin, it lasts anywhere between uh, 5 to 7 hours. 5 hours, it lasts amazingly, you know. After 5 hours, I feel that it starts to die down a little. Uh, Silage is uh, above average. After 5 hours, it starts to turn into a skin scent, but 5 hours, you're good to go. And uh, the good thing is, you know, I absolutely love this fragrance, light blue. I could just smell it, and this gets me into that happy mood. If you haven't smelled this, you're really missing something. And I was amazed that this one smells exactly the same, you know. They are so similar, but such a huge difference in the price point. This one, uh, this one costs you like above 60 bucks and this one costs you 20 bucks at Shoppers Drug Mart. At discounters, I did not find it for 20 bucks. Uh, discounters are selling it for about 35, 40 bucks. I checked FragranceX, FragranceBuy.ca and uh, this bad boy is going for above 30 bucks. But be on the lookout if you're in US, Canada and you have a shopper's drug mart nearby, please be on the lookout. This comes on their shelves uh, once a month, I guess. But as soon as this comes, it runs out. And I, I picked this up. I saw the similarity between Orfrash and Light Blue and I understood that yes, that is the reason that it runs out because this is so similar to Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana, Ofrash by Versace, that's the reason it runs out. Amazing performance, similar performance at a very, very comfortable price point. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're into fresh fragrances for summer, do check out Azaro Chrome Sport. You won't be disappointed, take my word for it. And my efforts on this channel would be to bring out fragrances which are cheap, you know, so that uh, we can all enjoy fragrances at a low price point. And how I got into fragrances, I've been into the fragrance game for the last uh, 10 years and uh, I enjoy fragrance reviews by uh, Robes. He's a fellow Canadian, he goes by the name Mark. So but just check out his channel, Robes08, that's his channel I guess. He, ha he has some amazing fragrance reviews and uh, he's, the, he's the guy who got me interested in fragrances. He's, Robes is the person whose reviews I used to check when I uh, started in this game and I still follow Robes. So but he's an amazing guy, do check his reviews as well, but now he is you know, he's going into niche fragrances and he's still into mainstream fragrances, but 
his reviews are amazing so just check out his channel I want to share with you what got me started into fragrances uh, this verse from the scriptures Proverbs 27 9 oil and perfume make the heart glad so a man's counsel is sweet to his friend this is the verse this is the Bible verse which uh, got me started into fragrances and I enjoy fragrances which you know make the heart glad which give you joy and this fragrance my dear friends does you smell it and you get that joy that happiness that comes from a fragrance it's so amazing how a fragrance can alter your moods how a fragrance can uh, be associated with colors this is a perfect example of that fragrance it smells green light blue it has that beachy vibe as uh, is evident from its ad as well you know um, so this is an outgoing fragrance and uh, excellent performance it uh, uses mainly spring and summer this would do great in high heat this is that energetic invigorating smell and it's a sports fragrance it's much better than the original chrome I have the original chrome but I like this one much much better than uh, what the original chrome smells this fragrance uh, will do a great job to keep you cool and refreshed in summertime so friends do check this out Thank you so much. Peace. Shalom.